if you can just like fix it. <laughs> oh my god, dreamy. <laughs> You guys already know that I love a good chop. So here's another major haircut and color transformation. We're getting rid of most of her pre-existing blonde by cutting it off. And after I do a rough cut, I always go in and make sure everything's nice and even. We're doing a really blunt bob, but she still wants texture. And this is one of my favorite new techniques to add texture. I always learn new techniques and tricks from other hairstylists on Instagram, and I hope when I post, you guys can learn something too. I did a full foil baby light around her face and also a toner melt to make sure she has a soft grow up, and this is the final result. We were both super happy with it. If you've been considering bangs for fall, this is your sign. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Can I pull it down like this? Why, would, why shouldn't I? Okay. Oh, this is a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I don't know why, but it was. These aren't even my hair cutting scissors. Where am I? Bro. This is what impulsive incision this this is what impulsive decisions do. Like I didn't even think before I did it. These aren't even the right scissors. And I have the right scissors. Come on, man. Trying to get like this all straight, at least. I hope this isn't bad. I hope I don't hate myself. Oh, I hope I don't hate myself. If I hate myself after this. These aren't the right scissors. I can't do it anymore. Dolce, why don't you introduce yourself to the mm -hmm. class, okay? Oh, 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 Hello? It's over. I told my wife. Who is this? I did the haircut thing.
So this is how I trim my hair every few months. Now, I think a lot of people are gonna disagree with my method, but honestly, this just kind of works for me. So what I'll do is I'll tie a ponytail to the front and then another one for more precision. Now, I honestly recommend cutting wet hair versus dry hair because, oh my gosh, that took a minute to cut. I'll open my hair and I'll notice that the back looks too much of a V shape. So what I'll literally do to fix this is I'll take the longest strands from the back and just cut it to give me more of a blunt cut look. And that's basically how I trim my hair. Super simple and easy. Watch me cut my layers. was hurting inside because he shitted on me and finally got shitted on and imagine that shitted on him. imagine that if you are someone that's debating chopping your hair this video is for you for reference i went from this to this to this so in the last few months my hair has been multiple different lengths some pros to having short hair is that first of all, it takes so much less time to dry. Depending on how short your hair is, you can do more hairstyles. For example, my hair, when it was really long, it was so long I couldn't even do a messy bun. And now I can. It is so much lighter. I'm not even kidding, when my hair was long, I used to get headaches because of how heavy it was, like when my hair was in a ponytail or something. Back to the whole like styling thing, I curl my hair like once a week. Now when I had long hair, that was unheard of. It was a special occasion for me to curl my hair. It just took so much time and effort, and now it takes me like 15-20 minutes. Now some of the cons to having short hair, um, my hair won't all fit into a ponytail. Which is kind of annoying, but I don't really mind that much. Sometimes I miss being able to do like fun little braids and stuff like I used to. Another downside is that now whenever I wash my hair, I can't let it air dry. I have to blow dry it because if I let it air dry, the end Part 3 off. Chopping off my 26 inch hair, how to piss off your barber 101. I was suffering this looking like box. Lord Farquaad, so know. he fixed it, but I made him suffer too. <laughs> <laughs> not me moving every second like my hairs, not already a mess. Oh, why are you looking down again? Stop moving the head down, man. Oh, you're so fucking dumb. Oh, don't worry. No, don't even look down like that again. Fuck, you know. Guys, my fiancé cut off his beautiful long curly hair right before our wedding, and I'm so sad. This is what it looked like before. So cute and effortless. Everyone told him he needed a haircut sad face so. After. He's still cute, but I love the long hair. What do you think? Oh my god, uh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. No, it's not fine. What the fuck? That's it, guys. Cutting my hair. All of it. That's you. Snip. Yeah. Does it feel lighter? Definitely. Boom, section two. You know that redheads have the sensitivest hair? Good, really? Yeah, it's so easy on me, dog. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. Section three. Snip, snip, snip. Oh! 
Gotcha. It's all me. So much lighter too. Thank you. Okay guys, so this is my beautiful client. She wants to have a textured bob with some curtain bangs like this inspo pick. So I started by taking off an inch of length all around and now I'm doing her curtain bangs using my feather edge razor. This is one of my favorite hair cutting tools. She has very fine hair, so I'm gonna use the plus size Amika Mousse. So this is gonna add body to her hair so we can get some volume. Blow drying the hair upwards is a great volume hack as well. Now I'm adding subtle layers. Since like I said, she has fine hair, I don't want to remove too much weight. I just want to add texture. Now I'm using a one inch curling barrel. This is by the brand Hot Tools to wave her hair. And I'm alternating the direction of each curl so that way it adds a more natural, messy effect. I always get asked how I style short hair and this is my favorite technique. Now I'm going in with the Amika Volume Powder, spraying this in her roots to give her some more volume and texture. Then using my fingers, I'm pulling apart her curls. I don't want to brush through them because she does have very naturally straight hair. And this is the final result. Thanks for watching guys, bye! People ask how I get my clients to stay so still. The answer is, I just ask them. I have curly hair, and I tried cutting it when it was wet. Wait for it. Her first appointment with me. She wasn't ready to get all the splits off. Her last trim was in April. She was very confident that she only needed a routine trim. I cleaned the cut up after. We still have more to go. For anyone considering bangs, take a look at this. This is a bang without being a bang. And plus, look how fantastic the party in the front looks when you have a pony. Yo, what's up, bro? I heard your prices went down for a haircut. Prices went down? Yeah, man, it's the pandemic. You're crazy. They're still $100. 100 Nah, fuck him. I got you for 80 Look, I got my tools right here, man. $100. Let's do it. I got you right now, bro. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry, bro. I'm going to just have to go to him. Who the fuck made it tradition to cut goddamn your son hair at one? I ain't cutting my goddamn son hair. You see this? Y'all see this shit? Yes. Your hair holds energy, both negative and positive. For example, during a breakup, you cut your hair and you feel better. The theory is that your hair is a regular part of your nervous system, which means it passes on messages from the outside directly to your brain. This system balances your body's electromagnetic field, and it makes sense because after you have your hair cut, you kind of physically feel the burdens being cut away from you. And if you really think about it, when you take a shower, it's different washing your hair versus just your body. You feel a lot better after your hair is washed. So although it's a little impulsive to get a haircut after a breakup or something sad happens, it will make you feel better. So if you had a lot of negative energy and it's holding in your hair down here and you cut it off, that old negative energy will also be cut off your body. And I mean, this look is stunning too, 27.5 out of 10. Here are the best haircuts for each face shape. If you have an oval face shape, you're really lucky because you can really choose any hairstyle and it's gonna look good on you. If you have a square face shape, great haircuts for you are going to be buzz cuts, french crops, and quiffs. For rectangular faces, you want to avoid anything with too much volume and go for something like a side part or longer hairstyles. For round faces, you want to pick a hairstyle that gives your face some length, so keep it short on the sides and go for french crops, pompadours, or quiffs. If you have a diamond face shape, you want to avoid short sides and keep some length. Long curly hair, quiff, messy fringe, man buns are gonna look really good on you. If you have a triangle face, the best is 
is medium length hair. Best hairstyles for you are going to be the side fringe, curly top, textured pompadour, quiffs, and low fade with a messy top.